red oak, it looks like. Not fun to chop through. This is not advised. I'm gonna pry with this thing just to see what happens. Once again, I do things sometimes that are not under warranty. Check it out on my website. It's not hard to find. Uh, it's been on there forever. Uh, you'll notice the blade length on this is a lot shorter than the traditional uh, sort of jungle machete. Um, I don't live in the jungle, so I'm not going to be uh, presumptuous enough to try and make a machete for the jungle. I uh, made this and the others that I made for the environment that I live in, which is a mixed hardwood forest. So that's why you see me chopping dead hardwood like this. See what happens. All good. All right, here's the last dumb thing I'm gonna do with this knife. <laughs> Some of you probably saw this coming. I'm gonna throw it. Uh, <laughs> this is not a throwing knife. Don't do this with your knives um, if they're not made to throw. I can make you a knife to throw if you want that, but this isn't it. Didn't stick. Not a very good knife thrower. Alright, this is it, right? Nope. Okay, those tests all look good, right? A2 looks like it's going to be uh, good to go, except for this. This is an A2 knife. This is the only other one that I made. And this one, unfortunately, went to a customer. Because I thought I had it tested and ready to go. But you can see, that's not the case. So, disappointing to say the least. Uh, what's really disappointing about it is not just the fact that I sent it to a customer and it failed them, which really, really bothers me. Uh, but um, now I have no steel choice. Well, I have a few, a few steel choices for the machetes, but I don't have the time to right now to test them and and uh, you know go through that whole process again. So if you look at this one, I took a big half moon chip out of the edge, and it bent it. <laughs> If it was one or the other, it you know I'd have a little bit easier time figuring out what's going on or how to fix it, but it did both. So A2 is off the table. Um, I know there's lots of makers that use it and use it successfully um, and use it well, but uh, I'm not one of them, obviously. <laughs> so uh, if you've watched uh, past videos, you know that um, machetes are have been a problem for me. 
uh, something about them. They're, they're just the bane of my knife making existence. Uh, 1095, I had one chip out on it. Um, there's several of those machetes out there, so that's not a huge deal. I could, you know, write that off to an anomaly or, uh, you know, something that I did wrong, you know, whatever. Uh, but the rest are going strong, knock on wood. But the problem with 1095 is the warping. Um, in a thin, long blade, uh, I have to make four to get one good straight one. Um, and they just take too long to try and straighten if you can even straighten them. So 1095 is out. A2 is out for obvious reasons. So, um, next thing is I'm going to try eventually down the road, probably a year, two years down the road, I would like to try some uh, S7 if I can find it in a wide enough stock. That's the other problem with this. these machetes that I make. They're very wide. Um, so you have to have wide stock, wide, thin stock. So that's the update on the uh, ever exciting trials of uh, my machete journey. So uh, one of these days maybe I'll get it fi fi figured out. Um, I'm not one that gives up easily obviously. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see what happens in the future when I get some time. You can see the difference between this knife and the other knife is obviously the width. So the, the wider the blade, the you know, if they have a full height grind, the wider the blade, the thinner the edge is going to be. So that's the problem here. And I don't want to put a thick secondary on these things because in my mind it's going to uh, disguise what's in the blade. You know, if you if you got a, a, a real thick secondary, you, you put that on so the edge doesn't bend or chip. But if it's bending and chipping really, really bad, then the secondary just disguises what's going on inside the rest of the blade. You know, if this... Uh, this edge chips out and you put a secondary on it, it doesn't chip out anymore, what does it say about the rest of the blade? It's usually going to be hard in there, so, you know, it might crack in half. So, small secondary, um, tough edge is my goal on a full height thin knife. We'll see if I can reach it one of these days. Oh well, you can't win them all, right? <laughs> Chalk this up as a major fail. <laughs> Thanks for watching.